You're watching Adorama TV. Welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. This week, we're going to take a closer look at Canon's amazing new 24 millimeter tilt shift lens. And specifically, we're looking at the TSE 24 millimeter F 3.5 L2. Now, if you're not familiar with tilt shift lenses, then make sure you watch the tutorial about tilt shift lenses that I created on Digital Photography One on One. Now, earlier this year, Canon released two new tilt shift lenses. They released a 17 millimeter and the new 24 millimeter that I have right here. Now, this new 24 millimeter isn't just an upgrade to the previous version, but it's a totally new design. So let me break down the new features for you. Now, first, this lens has much larger image circle coverage, which allows it even greater shift and tilt capabilities. The image circle on this lens is now 67.2 millimeters, as opposed to the 58 millimeter image circle on the previous lens. Now, if the concept of image circle is new to you, let me quickly explain it by using these little cutouts here. So all Im images, or sorry, all lenses have to project a circular image represented by this green cutout here back to the camera sensor, which is represented by this little red uh, rectangle here. Now, I know these aren't in proper proportion, but just work with me on this one. So what happens is uh, the uh, image circle has to be large enough to cover the entire sensor like this. So the lens projects light in a circle and the sensor captures it as a rectangle, sort of like this. Now a non-shifting lens has an image circle of about 43 millimeters, which covers the sensor just fine, sort of like what you see here. But a shifting lens, well, it needs a much larger image circle so that when the lens shifts, well, the entire image circle can still cover the entire sensor. So you need a large image circle like this. So as the lens is shifting around, you're going to be safe. Now, with the previous version of this lens, the image circle was 58 millimeters, which allowed the lens to shift around by about 11 millimeters. But the new lens has an image circle of 67.2 millimeters, which allows the lens to shift 12 millimeters in any direction. But it also does something else. It minimizes vignetting and the loss of light, which is really needed due to the new ability to combine tilt and shift in new ways. So let me talk about that. There's a never seen before feature for tilt shift lenses, and it's the ability to change the relationship of the tilt and the shift independent of each other. Now we've always been able to take our tilt shift lens and rotate both of those together in 90 degrees like this. So here's our tilt and here's our shift. We've always been able to rotate that in 90 degrees, but this lens now allows you to move the shift and the tilt independent of each other. So I can move the shift and then I can actually move the tilt independent of that. So we have two different controls and that is brand, brand, brand new with this new design. And so the other thing that's interesting is this lens can now move in either clockwise or counterclockwise direction. So I can go in both ways, moving the entire thing. So there are new movements. And so that larger image circle allows photographers to make all of these new movements without the fear of significant vignetting or loss of light. And that is really, really important. Now to control all this movement, the lens has knobs uh, to adjust tilt or shift. And on the opposite side, they have some locking knobs and some little switches. So let me show you really closely what these are. So the tilt knob on the top here, if we flip the lens over, underneath here, there's a little lock right there. And what that lock does is once that is locked, you can't tilt the lens. And so if you're just shifting things up and down, that's gonna make sure that this doesn't accidentally tilt and change the plane of focus. But if you unlock that, you also have this little locking dial right here. What that allows you to do now is you can tilt the lens wherever you want it, and then you can lock that in. Now, once that's locked, when you're moving this camera around, you're not gonna accidentally move the tilt out of whack. You're gonna make sure that everything stays nice and firm. And the same thing is true of the shift. You've got a little lock on the opposite side of that. So when you loosen that up, you can start shifting your lens up or down. And then once you get that where you want it, you can lock that into place and then everything's gonna be there. And then on the other side, we have these uh, two little tabs here. And so one of those allows you to move everything like I showed you before. And the other is just allowing you to move the tilt. And so that's how those two guys work. So it's really easy to get to the controls and they're really easy to use without even looking at them. You can sort of feel those with your fingers as you're shooting, they're right there, which is really nice. Now, the other thing that this lens has is uh, three ultra low dispersion glass elements or UD elements 
to control chromatic aberration. And that is brand new to this lens that didn't exist in the old 24 millimeter lens. This also has a very large diameter, uh, a spherical front element, and that keeps all that distortion to a minimum. And the lens also has something that's new. It's Canon's newly developed SWC, or sub wavelength structure coating. What that does is it really makes sure that you have a lot of resistance to secondary reflections and ghost images when you're using this with a digital SLR. So it's just an amazingly well-designed piece of glass. Now, all of this info is great, all this technical stuff, but probably you're asking, how does this lens actually perform? Well, I used this lens for about two weeks and found it to be absolutely spectacular. Vignetting is almost non-existent and images are extremely sharp. The movements are smooth and the lens is just really easy to use. In fact, to really see this specific lens in action, I suggest you watch my tilt shift lens tutorial on our sister show, Digital Photography One on One, because that video is almost 20 minutes and it's all about tilt shift lenses and I shot the entire thing using just this lens so you can really see it in action and see the images that we shot and how we shot and how this was used. And needless to say, the bottom line is I was very impressed with this lens and I think you will be as well. Well, Canon's new TSE 24 millimeter F 3.5 L2, that lens is currently retailing for $2,089. And for any professional landscape or architectural photographer, I think it's definitely worth the investment. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. And to learn more about tilt shift photography and the advantages of using a tilt shift lens like this one, well, head over to the Adorama Learning Center where you'll see articles and videos to help you get started or refine your existing skills. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.